Hi, John with Off Grid Homesteading. Just wanted to show you here on Friday, May 18th, some of our progress. We've had rains and other things going on here the last few days, so uh, we didn't have a video for the last uh, about week or so. But um, we had to uh, do a number of things, uh, um, get some equipment and stuff up and running, uh, take care of uh, uh, bush hogging, and um, you know, uh, getting the garden started and stuff like that. So anyway, here is what we have accomplished so far to date. Okay, so my son Caleb came in and uh, we worked on his car, got his car, we did a timing belt, water pump, all the kind of stuff, got that done, and while he was here, um, helped just move this, uh, I think that's an eight foot door, eight, not, yeah, that's a 10 foot uh, wall right there. So these are, this is some of the free doors, uh, doors and windows and stuff that we received um, off of a Craigslist that we found. And over here, These are casement windows that this is going to be the one uh, in the bedroom. We have to do a little bit of trim work and stuff um, around there, just kind of, uh, you know, resand those and, and take care of them. But um, pretty happy about the way those are looking so far. Uh, this one here, I believe this is one we have to source, um, 36 by 36. That'll be our kitchen window. Um, and uh, then this one here, we were going to install, but the base plate uh, on the window itself needs to be uh, redone, rebuilt. So today I'm going to be working on uh, completing the addition here, the 10 foot by 14 foot addition. Uh, already got the blocks and stuff put in over here. Sorry. Got these poured the other day. Got those in. That one over there. And then we have our treated 4x6 for this end here. Um, and that's approximately how the, uh, uh, the deck's going to look. It's going to come out uh, 10 feet exactly from here to here. It's not, I, I didn't measure 10 foot out. That was just to, to get level for the beam here. But um, this is the area that we're working on. So we got very little space between the 10 foot and where the trailer comes in. So I'm going to have to do my end piece probably first, tie the, you know, uh, nail those all in, and then uh, lift them up and put them in place or something. Don't know yet exactly. We'll figure that out. But uh, that's it. So let's get going. One of the other custom things I did, uh, figured make my life a little bit easier, is these are standard uh, since Simpson strong ties and uh, the challenge with these is when you put them on the end like this there's a side over here that sticks over the edge that doesn't work out right so what I did is so here's a standard one okay um, I just took my vise and bent this one side out so it'll go over the edge on the side there, and then I reversed it for the other side on the opposite end. And uh, that'll allow me to um, go ahead and tie into the side of the board there and then tie directly in that way so I still have some very good strong uh, connections.